has used ChatGPT to plan 24-hour trip in Dubai. You know what? Honestly, I think we made ChatGPT a thing. We made it a global phenomenon. It's us. It's all on us. We pioneered this. Anyway. Are you using it? <laughs> you. Are you guys using it? Let us Are know. Are you using it to hack work? Are you using it to write your essays at school? Are you using it to write your resume? Are you using it to plan a holiday? These are all things that it can be done if you think about it. It's a genius way to plan a travel itinerary. Exactly. And I think one day we should just give like a list of AI websites you guys can use because I mean, it's we just have to get behind AI at this point. So Chad GPT can do many things, but can it plan a whole travel itinerary? So Oscar and Dan run a YouTube channel where they feature a ton of travel content. In this particular video, they put the infamous Chad GPT to the test on the streets of Dubai. And there are some fun failures, uh, but for the most part, it was a success. This is literally genius. If you're thinking of going to a country and you're like, okay, where do I start in terms of uh, in terms of places to go? What are popular features? Trial it. Uh, so ChatGPT suggested a total of four destinations for them to check out and it only made one error. Uh, so I would use ChatGPT and then I would check its work. Uh, so while asking AI, Oscar and Dan also had one specific condition. Uh, they said that they enjoy nature over city sites. Mm-hmm. So the results were, Miracle Garden, mm-hmm. Ras Al Khor Wildlife Sanctuary, mm-hmm. beautiful, Jumeira Mosque, and Lemur. Uh, the only error made uh, was not warning them about timings for Jumeira Mosque, and the pre booking was necessary. Okay, so would you trust a bot to plan your holiday? <laughs> so before yeah. this show, we were like, how genius, and Simran was talking about holidays that she's thinking about. And- So my friends and I were planning to go to Bali or Europe this summer and we're just like, okay, let's get this rolling, what we're going to do, like at least let's plan something out, let's figure something out. So we're just like, okay, one person just scouts around Europe, things to do, and I'm like, okay, me and someone else will do Bali and see what things are there to do Done. there. So it was like a quick Google search, but I'm like, oh, why? Oh, why? Waste your time Googling and, you know, like finding specific information when Chad GPT not just planned itinerary, but they also found the hotels, uh, the Airbnb, uh, gave perfect Airbnb suggestions really? that are all open right now. So Simran looked like top team member when she came back. She look at all this research I did, guys. Where is your response? Now we know your hack, you're using Chad GPT. Oh, yeah. I told them and then they use that for the Europe, the European countries we were looking to go to. So it's just like, thank God for AI and chat GPT. Like, you don't understand. It's like, it's just the best thing that's happened to mankind. Ooh, hold it. Disagree. Why? Well, two things. One is you need to check everything. So the hotels potentially have closed and all of that. And then there is something about... So when I first went traveling, uh, when I was in university, there was no booking.com. So we would, so for example, we were in Thailand, we would land on a on an island. We would have like all our backpacks. We would sit in a group and one person would have to walk through the town, uh, check out the, the price of like 10 places, come back, report back. So like there was no like booking ahead. It was just you land there, you go and you find out the price that you go in. And there was something quite like nice about it. Yeah. So now you like book in advance, you check all the reviews and that's what you do. But now you're being told everything. Where is the like if if and then the everyone's getting told the same information? Yeah. Uh, there's something nice about exploring and finding out your own information. So oh, no, although it's sure. easy and it's yeah. handier and it's going to save us a lot of time, some, there's something like hard work actually makes you appreciate things more rather than just being given the answer. No, 100%. What you're saying is so accurate in terms of like going there and just something should be winging it, you know, like spontaneous. You go there and you learn as you go. You go there and you find out from the locals what's the perfect place to go or stay or eat from. Like, of course, that's there. But like just having that backup plan as to like if this doesn't work out, this is our backup plan. So you're not completely lost once when you're there. Thank you, JetGPT, for being our backup plan. (laughs) But it is amazing. In terms of capabilities, like this is just one more thing that... it can be used for. So I think it's a great basis for a start. So, okay, I'm going to Sri Lanka. What are the great things I could do on like the West Coast, the East Coast? And it will give me an idea and then I can research them. Yeah. It's great. But only thing about chat GPT is that it's the information like we know is outdated. Mm, So if there is... 2022 or something. Yeah, 2022. 2022, 
2021, yeah. So it's like if there's any current events happening now, it will not know. So if the hotel's close or if there's like an economic crisis or anything that's happening, political issue, it will not report. Take that into account. Yeah, exactly. exactly. Um, but these guys have worked for them. And, you know, if someone asked me for nature inspiration, I may not have thought of those places. So um, it's 8.49, guys, which means it's nearly time uh, for the incredible artist Nuri. She's going to be with us right after this very short break.